local teams at the girls state basketball tournament. Jack Leto starts our coverage with Solon and Dubuque Waller. You heard Tim Fitzpatrick. Let's get it started in 3A. Coaches Chris Spiegler and Jamie Smith looking to secure the final spots in the semis. Dubuque Waller can shoot it from deep. Maria Freed, the senior, cans one from the top. Waller trying for their first state tournament win since 2004. Solon can fire the deep ball too. Haley Miller from the corner, all twine. Solon up five at intermission. Head to the final seconds of the third. Miller again in the corner. This time she beats the buzzer and Solon's marching into the fourth with a five-point lead. The Spartans outscore the Golden Eagles by six in the final frame. Here's Iowa commit senior Callie Levine. She had 20 this afternoon, and after losing in the semifinals last season, Solon is back in the final four, while Wallert's great season ends at 19-6. and six. You're always super nervous coming into these big games like this. I know us seniors were because we just want it so bad. And so we just tried to um, be there for each other and um, just pump each other up, make each other confident, and that's exactly what we did. To 4A and Clear Creek Amana comes in undefeated with a heavy target on their backs. It didn't weigh him down against Gilbert. Star sophomore Avery Lauer shoots a blistering 49% from deep. I count 49 reasons to not give her that much space. Second quarter, Clippers on defense. Ava Locklear has been a force. She's like, get that weak sauce out of here. She's a forward, but she has got skills that thrill. Nice dish to Kennedy Stratton for the bucket. Second half, Clips keeping their foot firmly on the pedal. Lauer again, pure shoot let her fire. She had a game high 17, but Locklear the star. She had 14 points, 17 boards, 9 assists, and 5 steals. CCA getting their school's first ever win at state. Especially for us seniors, we have 8 of us. Like, this is our last go around for some of us, so I think it's more just like doing it for each other. Reporting from Wells Fargo Arena, Jack Lito, KCRG TV 9 Sports. In another quarterfinal, Waverly Shell Rock and Sioux Center in a tight one first half. Caitlin Egana shows the lost art of the mid-range. She had a game high 21. The Gohawks were down five at halftime. Second half, they find their stride with the game tied. Sydney Bianaman with the one, one of her five rebounds in the putback. Next possession's tied again. This time she gets in the paint and makes a nice move for two more. And the Gohawks hold on to advance to the semifinals, winning 55-51.